Here we are in the home dressing room at Villa Park. Make sure you join us for this week's pre-match show as Paul Lambert's men look to complete the league double over Rodgers' Reds after the 1-0 win at Anfield in September. Joining me, Jack Woodward, is ex-winger Steve Froggart. And you picked out a pair of danger men from the opposition, Steve. One at the start of his Liverpool career and the other very much towards the end of it. Yeah, very much so. Um, I mean, the, the first one is more out of sentimentality. Uh, yeah. Steven Gerrard, you know, someone who I grew up with, someone who had played against, an exceptional talent. Absolutely incredible, this lad is. It has been for Liverpool for a long sp span of time. And whether Liverpool should have let him go is debatable because I've seen him play mm. recently. Well, if you, if you judged him on what he is now rather than what he was 10 years ago, he still stands up even today as been an outstanding player yeah, in, in, in any team, Jack. Yeah, we hope he doesn't continue that excellent scoring record against Villa this weekend. And the other guy, Markovic, is a prospect. Yeah, he is. Yeah, 20 years of age. Took, took his time to find his feet, as a lot of Liverpool's new signings did. You know, mm. they brought a lot of players into the club who have found it difficult, to say the least. You know, they, they, Liverpool have been in the Champions League this year, so to play on... You know, all those different fronts, I think they found it tough. I think they've lost Daniel Sturridge, Luis Suarez. They've lost 60 goals, Jack, from yeah. their team. Not, not a team in the world can lose 60 goals in one season from their side and expect to do well. So, Brendan's come, on, I think, come under a lot of unfair criticism this season. Yeah, perhaps the hangover from last season for them was, to a degree, inevitable. But from Villa's point of view, the new man... Carlos Gil, or English translation, Charlie Hill. He's come in. Excited about that? Yeah, really, very much so. I mean, the thing is, as, as a football supporter and you know, someone who wants the club to do well, you any new player comes in, there's always an air of excitement. Yeah. I think it's great. The supporters go, they'll want to come and see him play. They want to, what this, what's this new kid about? What we're hearing about? I love the fact of his, where he is. Is it possible he can play on the, on the wing or he can play in central areas? But he's creative. And that word, for me, is key. That is what we need. We have been desperately lacking a creative, energetic player. And I'm, you know, I'm really looking forward to seeing this boy play because I think, you know, maybe not initially, he's going to take time as all, all foreign players do. But I think, you know, as we've seen with Carlos Sanchez, yeah. Carlos has grown and grown and grown. And for me, he's become a really, really important player for us in the last few weeks and the way we're now trying to play our football. And I hope this kid is the same. And... I'm hoping also, from what I've been told, he may not be the last of the signings in this transfer window. Yeah, good to have Fabian back from suspension as well. We've got a very good record at Anfield in recent seasons, yeah. but not so much against Liverpool at Villa Park. The last time the Claret and Blue had some success was uh, the day Birmingham City got relegated when uh, they were beaten by the only goal in 2011. I think what I always remember about the games between uh, us and them is that they're always really entertaining. Yeah. And, and, and there's always big crowd. For some reason, Liverpool, they come, there's a massive crowd at Villa Park that, that, and there's always a, an incredible atmosphere. Uh, I remember playing games in my past, you know, where, where, um, the famous one, the 4-2, where, where Ronnie Rosenthal had yeah. the ball. And there was an amazing... They, I, I can't remember ever playing in a better atmosphere at Villa Park than on that day. The, the ground was just bouncing. Um, but... What's important for us? We need a result, Jack. Yeah. You know, we can't sugarcoat that. Results have not gone our way. Mm. We've not performed as well as we could do. I'm looking for a reaction from our players. I'm looking for a big performance to, you know, to, to show the fans how important it is to them as well uh, that, to get a result. You never had a Rosenthal type miss? Uh, yes. Oh, yes. No? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, FA Cup tie against oh, Leicester. Okay. Away from home, I'm, I put, in fact, it's on a Sky video somewhere. We'll not dig out the footage. Uh, so please, yeah, please <laughs> don't. Embarrass you. Well, well, Heel has energised the players, and I think you've energised us and the fans with that analysis, so thanks very much indeed. It really is all about wide men this week. More analysis from Froggy, new man Carles Heel, although he can play in the middle as well. And to complete the set, former flank flourisher, Tony Morley is with me for commentary on Saturday. <laughs> 